Tonight in our Your Wallet Report, we talk about a tax many of you are paying every year. It's called the wheel tax and it's been around for decades now, but what exactly is it and where does your money go? If you register a car in the city of Lincoln, you pay a wheel tax. Of course, not everyone enjoys writing that check, but in return, they expect the city's streets to be taken care of. The wheel tax is specifically designed to improve the quality of our roads here in Lincoln. And uh, as far as I can tell, it's been doing a good job. As long as our roads are tight and there's no potholes and things are clean, um, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Lincoln's wheel tax has been around since 1958. Every time you register your car and get those new tags to put on your license plate, you pay. For a car, it's $74 a year. A pickup, $111. Even motorcycles, big trucks, and semi-owners have to pay it if they live in Lincoln. There is about 230,000 vehicles in the city of Lincoln that uh, uh, pay for that wheel tax. It brought in about $19.7 million in the last fiscal year. So where does that money go? Using that $74 per car as an example, you can see more than half of it goes to building new streets and maintaining or repairing our current roads. That includes repairing potholes. Those are the blue and yellow sections you see right there. And then there's also things like snow removal and taking care of traffic signals and signs. City leaders say if you break it down, that $74 is costing you less than a quarter a day. It's something that probably you take for granted. You get up, you get on the street, and you, you want it to be smooth. You want it to be uh, convenient, and uh, you don't think about how much your investment. Some of the other money coming in to pay for road upkeep, the state gas tax, federal funds, and the quarter cent sales tax that voters approved back in 2019 for the Lincoln on the Move initiative. We have 2,600 mean miles. That means if we took all the pavement in Lincoln, we could drive to New York and back with that. So um, that's, it puts a little bit in perspective of the size of our system that we're trying to maintain. City officials say another important part of all of this, to be transparent with how much money is coming in and how it's spent. We encourage folks to go onto our website and uh, they can see how projects are coming along. They can see how they're funded, What what sources of funding are being used. They can also go in and uh, see our street closing list and see what's coming up. And we have a link to the city's webpage that shows you all of this. It's in this story on KLKNTV.com. There's even an app you can download that includes uh, street closings and guides you around construction sites. And of course, this time of the year might not be a bad idea to get it.